Anyway, what strange fate twists befall us? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Mm. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean. What's so wrong with talk, it? dear sister? Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Mm. Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. Mm. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Or don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Do not let her exhume your past, Dark Mistress. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up! Just shut up! Stop it, Ivory Princess. That's right, Jeanette. No one wants to hear your lies. I was the good girl, you were the wicked one. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me. You've taken care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. I Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Does the Dark Daughter speak truth? White mistress? She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. Yes, and the Dark One called the Reaper down on me. Tree, 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 trees will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What of Janice, Dark Daughter? I was always good to father, but Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart, so he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese, you placed his finger on the trigger once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. A dark deed for the dark daughter. The police sure did. They broke us up for a little while, remember? The first thing you did after your escape was find me. Enough! Don't say another word about that. That. So, sweet sister, is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well... Any message you want me to give father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the boomstick, please. Oh. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the feud if that will get you out of my city. Hmm. I guess we got rid of Jeanette. Too bad. This is acceptable. Tongue's hiding out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. I understand. I am gone. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. I'll remember that. Goodbye, Dark Daughter.
Too bad. I was hoping to get Tourette. Oh well. Let's go see that tongue guy. Someone should turn off that alarm. It's pretty loud. Thank you, whoever did that. Ah, Bertram. How are you today? Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? It festered in your brain that I looked for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Nasty dude. Nasty dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it. No, your nastiness was shown to me by the little golden ghoul. Aw, oh, shit, I'm Alcavian. And you ran into Knox, too? You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. Oh, well. Bertram Tongue, the nasty dude! The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, fledgling. I know who you are. Then you know more than I do. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. And survive I did. Oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seek a strange house of wares, oh nasty dude. Hmm? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. Oh, I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Secret sorrow and sickness. Tell me of the Sabbat. The Sabbat? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not gonna say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. What of the hapless humans? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have asper 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 aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Do they know of their dark masters? Yeah. This is about like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Hmm, I can do that. Can you bring me there with shoes of air and feathers? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready, and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. Hmm. Light the way for me. Your dudeness. Hmm. All right. Well, you seem to be at the warehouse, I suppose. Busted up bathroom. Oh. Huh. Hello. Hey, stop now! Ah. <laughs> oh, 
You're going down. 